Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Mike here at Weeby Autos. Today we have a gorgeous 63 Corvette. It's finished in uh, silver blue. Got the owner here. He's going to tell us a little bit about it. How are you doing today? Good, Michael. How are you doing today? Awesome, dude. You've had this a long time, huh? Uh, I've had this about 12 years. Wow. And the guy I bought it from had it probably 20. Wow. And it was stored in his basement, believe it or not. In his basement? It was. It was unbelievable. Huh. He had a six... Where was he? Like the city or Bronx? No, Syracuse, believe it or wow. not. Wow. Yeah. Nice guy. I Small still keep in touch with him to today. Cool. And, uh, you know, I mean, I haven't driven it hardly at all. Yeah. All right? The car is registered. It's in my name. Um, beautiful car. I did a lot of work to it. You know, I'm kind of getting out of the hobby a little bit, you know, yeah. so to speak. Sure. Uh, got a lot of things going on, kids wedding, blah, 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 yeah, blah. Grandkids, uh, yeah, grandkids, right? Yeah, and I don't know that happen. you know? Jesus. And uh, honestly, I was probably gonna leave everything to the kids, but you know what? They're not doing anything, you know? These kind of cars, you gotta use them. If you don't use them, they, yeah. you know, wheel cylinders leak, this yeah, leaks, course. you know? But, they gotta um, be maintained they, and driven. They do, and... they do, and you know what? person that would probably get a lot of this stuff would be my son but he's up to his ass right now <laughs> and if you can see the cars in the background yeah i have nine others i got five other split windows that i'm a little on the fence i mean i don't know if you saw the one behind you in the, in the driveway yeah which is a real cool car Very but cool. um you know it has a couple of little like a ding when i say ding the size of your pinky nail yeah like a little a chip you know i'm calling it a chip but i'm really critical with my stuff yeah. you know i mean but when i first got the car i was balls to the wall i redid you know engine compartment all the wire harnesses are new engine harnesses tail light harnesses you know but gauges so even, are redone yeah, beautiful the, frosting you know, on those redone you know when you open up the doors i have the little chrome uh tips that go on the welt moldings i yeah. didn't put them on for the simple reason that I got to get the correct screws that go on there. They're little flat, they, and it's the truth, the little flat yeah. screws. I'm not going to go to Ace Hardware. Just no, get, you're going to you know, do the right thing. Screw, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Of course. But um, it's a pretty correct car. You know, I mean, you know, the car speaks for itself. But you know what? I mean, just for just for hell of it, yesterday I went on eBay. There's two on there. One's 190 Oof. and the other one's like... Uh, once whatever the hell it is but yeah yeah you know, and this is a pretty rare color it this really is, is i love silver yeah, blue. yeah yeah i mean you don't see a lot of these around you know just it's a nice color yeah i love the interior too the interior is pretty correct if i'm not mistaken i think the clock is still uh yeah is it ticking still away ticking. yeah 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 that's yeah. an original clock. that's the original clock cool. I, like i said i did a lot of little things to the car you know, but let me show you this one, the, the, the chrome piece I'm telling you about, which I have, I think they might be in the car. Sure. These little pieces right oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I actually put those in the glove box. Yeah, yeah. So uh, This is what he's talking about. Yeah, they're right there. Here. They're still wrapped and everything. Uh -huh. These are the correct ones. He just needs the uh, yeah, right screws. exactly. But like so I many... said to you, I wanted to get the exact screws that, you know, goes on. Sure. But I, I didn't, uh, I didn't get that far yet. Do it right, you know? bro. You know, if yeah. it takes a little longer, whatever. And I know that. But, you know. It'll be there on there for when the sale goes. Yeah, it's. It's getting to the point where, you know what, a reality set in. And uh, again, if you look in the garage, there's four other split windows besides all my <laughs> yeah, other cars. I know. You know, and I've had all of these cars I a know. long time. Mike, you know me a long time. Uh, 25 you know? years. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, you know, just uh, it's time to let one go a little at a time. Listen, that one, I think that one that we sold over the winter, yeah. that split window went to like a, a museum or something. It did. Yeah, in, it's a museum. In uh, Illinois, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you know what's funny about that car? Yeah. Not that it's funny. I've never had a car where somebody never even came to look at it. I mean, nobody. Yeah. Well, I do a nice well, presentation. You do an unbelievable job with your pictures, you know. I mean, uh, it speaks for themselves, you know, as far as uh, anything wrong. You show little things here and there and yeah. just... I like to point things out, little nicks and whatever. This mm -hmm. way there's no surprises. Yeah, that's why somebody comes here. They say, you know, what, what are you, you know, your description is horrible. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. No, you, you got to be honest yeah, with yeah, this you, stuff. You do a good job. Thanks, bro. Let's pop the hood. Check sure. it out. Oh, nice and tidy under here. It looks very original. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it caught, again, you know, when I worked on this car probably six years, seven years ago when I was piddling around with it, and I was going through the whole thing with a fine tooth comb. Yeah. You know, take everything apart, you know, clean yeah. it up, you know. I put, like I said, you know, there's new engine harnesses, new 
uh, instrument harness. That was just a bitch. That was like off the charts oh, doing God. a new dash cluster. How long did it take you to do that? Oh, yeah, yeah, forget about it. That was my winter project. Yeah. You know? Right down to the taillight harnesses, you know, you know all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, the lights you know? and everything work beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Like how you have the correct shielding and yeah. even and, the shielding on the exhaust, the right you know lamps, what? the right hoses. There might be a couple of things that I might have missed here and there where I either lost interest or I just had more things on my mind at that time, you know? Yeah, well, okay. you, could, you know what it is? You could pick a car apart to death, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just. But it's a it's a really it's a, it's a nice car. Let's put it that way. So what do we got in here? A uh, three twenty seven. Three twenty seven. It's not the original motor. It's a three forty horse setup. Oh, solid you know? lifter. Yeah. Uh huh. Cool. Yeah. I, look, watch. I'm just gonna lean over and touch the key. Oh wait, wait, wait. What's oh, in gear? It's in gear. Oh, okay. Wow. Runs nice, huh? Yeah. I just yeah. Just touch the key. I mean, Mike, I haven't started this car up. I'm not shitting you. Since I went to Florida in December. Yeah. Today's the first day I pulled the car out and I'm unwrapping it from all the other, yeah. you know, just the cellophane I had yeah. over it, you know, it's drop cloths. Yeah. You know, I put uh, I put the uh, octane boost and everything. You, know, you have to do that. Yeah. The ethanol in these new cars are terrible. Yeah, turn the lights on. Yeah. Hey, on? Yeah. Great. What? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, blinkers on. Front too. Let me check out the front. Yep. See, you did a lot of work in the front end too, huh? Oh, yeah. Whole front end's done? Whole front end. Let's take a little video of it. So that's the right blinker. And driver blinker. Yeah, look at this, all new bushings, uh, shots, springs, A-arm. Wow, so nice. Did the brakes too? Everything. Cylinders, yeah, everything. Pretty. I love the solid lifter motors, right? Scream. Yeah. Great job on the gauges too. All the right frosting and everything. Showing 62,000. Before, uh, before I go to far, I fill them up. You can see the gas gauge fill right to the top. Yeah. I don't like touching and I won't put them on the wipers, you know, because I know the wiper arms, I don't want to scratch They're the windshield, so you know? Delicate, I'm, yeah. I'm not that, I just don't want to do that. Cool. Gotta have a four speed, man. And this clock. Look at that. Now the correct clocks, they tick. Yeah. yeah uh, exactly. Replacement talks, clocks, I have a replacement sleep. one in one of my other cars. It's just a solid, like a motion. Yeah. Well, the interior lights work, you know, you see them down there, the dome light behind you. Yeah, very nice. Again, again, you know. It's a real it, honest it, car. It is, you know. Let's put it this way, you know, I'm not meeting you at a gas station, I'm not meeting you at some parking lot of Walmart, you're at, you're at <laughs> yeah. my house. Yep. Yeah. yeah, what a car. What are we asking for this, $59.99? I think $28.99. <laughs> you guys can check it out. I took about 200 photos today, guys. All the casting numbers, block number, everything. I mean, if you're not mistaken, yeah. I, mean, I used to go to them when I was back in the day. I used to go to Meekum when you used to have to pay in a car trailer back then, but now it's so out of hand. But yeah, the numbers good. they get there plus 10% is off the charts. It is. Can you pop the headlights? Honestly, I'm, are they both coming up? Nice. Yeah. Nice and fluid, too. Beautiful. Good. Yeah. And I like how there's really, the cans are super you. straight, you know? I can't hear you. The cans are nice and straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of now? the times you'll see a little crack here and there. This looks good. A uh, little one right here, very tiny. And there too. Cool. Well guys, thanks for joining us today. Again, my name is Mike from Weeby Autos. Give me a call, 631-339-0399. 
and uh, check out our website. Thanks again for showing us your car. No problem. Nice it's see you, bro. It's always, it's always fun. You that's too. what it is. It's fun. It is, right? It really, you know what? Work, I man. love the hobby, but you know, I'm going to Florida now, and the whole, it just my life's it's changed a little, a little much, bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're up there in retirement. You know I might be selling. Left. Might be selling a couple of the ones that are in the garage. I'm cool. not sure yet which one, okay. but you know, little by little. Uh, well, let me know. Yeah, I'll let you know. And I'll though. keep you guys tuned up yeah. on that as well. Well, give me a call, 631-339-0399. Check out my website, too. It's a tons of photos. It's uh, weebyautos.com. Thanks a lot.